Hello everyone, I am Gabe. Today uh, I'll be your guide for some step-by-step -step instructions on how to apply age makeup for an on-stage theater production. First and foremost, make sure that you have a clean face. Make sure you wash uh, with soap and water. I use a daily facial cleanser to wash and then I apply a daily moisturizer. And this is just to protect your skin from the makeup. Uh, make sure you set up your space, uh, use a towel, use some kind of a rag, so you can kind of, kind of keep yourself clean as you put your makeup on. Okay, so what kind of tools that am I gonna be using for this demonstration? And I'll be using Stage Makeup by Meron. I'll be using some brushes. I have a large one, a medium, and a smaller one. I'll be using some brown pencil, a sponge, translucent powder to set the makeup by Marion. Uh, obviously, I have some wipes to kind of keep myself clean and uh, clean my tools at the end, and obviously a mirror. So, I want you to meet Rodrigo Mateo. Rodrigo Mateo is 75 years old. Rodrigo suffers from high cholesterol and high blood pressure. Rodrigo is a retired fisherman. So because of his job out at sea, Rodrigo has been exposed to uh, the sun that has caused his skin to darken and crack. So his wrinkles and age lines are very noticeable. So you're gonna notice that half of my face is already prepped with the makeup because so we can save time for this tutorial. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, at this time I'm gonna use the medium tan, which is the darker, the darker makeup. You gotta remember that Rodrigo has been exposed to the sun most of his life, so he's gonna have darker make darker skin. So I'll be using the medium tan. So I'm gonna use a dabbing motion to apply the makeup to my face. And I'll be using the makeup to cover my face area, my ears, my neck, my neck area, and I'm using a dap, a dapping motion so that makeup can really sink and stick to my skin. Make sure you're generous in applying your makeup throughout your face eyelids, forehead, cheek area, again, down to your neck, and your ears as well. After you apply your makeup, which is practically your foundation, I'm gonna use a pencil, the brown pencil, to outline wrinkles, to make wrinkles. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do some squinting, some frowning, different bases, smiling. That way you can use your own wrinkles. To kind of outline those aging lines. Now, some of you will probably not have any wrinkles because you're young. But when you squint, smile, frown, laugh, your face will 
not normal your 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 expressions your expressions will be very normal so you'll have all these signs that you can outline in your face and use that as your template for those aging lines now right now you'll see that all these lines, they look weird. All these lines are in your face, on your face. So we're gonna blend those lines with my, with your finger, but we're gonna keep on drawing on your blank canvas. In your mouth area, you're gonna pout. So you can draw those lines around your mouth area as well. Uh, you'll start noticing all these lines around your face. Again, that's just so we can get those lines in there. Use your natural wrinkles to do that. Uh, the next step that we're gonna use, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna use the light. In this case, I'm using the light three, which is the lighter makeup, very light makeup, to outline and get pronunciation to those lines that you already drew on your face. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go underneath and over, over on the top of each line to highlight those wrinkles. All those lines will have some lighter makeup again to highlight those lines and I'm using the smaller pencil it's like a thin pencil to outline those lines Make sure you're doing top and bottom of each of those brown lines that you created with the pencil. These lines are for defining, highlighting, those darker lines that you created with the pencil. Make sure you highlight all the lines. We're gonna give definition Looks kind of funny, right? So what we're gonna do now is with your finger, we're gonna dab and kind of make those lines disappear a little bit. We're gonna blend those into your skin. Again, just a little so we don't have them very pronounced. So we're gonna dab, 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 kind of hide those lines a bit. Oop, I missed, I missed a spot here. I didn't put uh, right here on this side. But I'll do that right now. Just wanna kind of get those lines hidden a little bit. Now if you smear the makeup, that's okay. 
because we're gonna we're gonna use the sponge a little bit later that so that way we can um, not look messy doesn't look dirty so I'm gonna come back in here and get those other lines in there that I forgot to put so you're starting to see the the lines in there again use the dabbing motion to kind of blend those lines in and then with the pencil what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the cheek area and we're going to use some contour in a bit so we can kind of make those cheeks sink in make them thin make uh, our face look, look thinner because as you age obviously your your face at times will get thinner your skin actually your skin will get thinner so I'm going to use the medium brush use contour in this case it's contour 2 and it's the darker makeup we're going to use that to highlight your cheekbone area you see a line there but we're going to blend it in right now so we're going to go ahead and draw that line in there and then we're going to blend it in with the bigger with the bigger brush okay with the bigger brush I'm going to blend that line to my skin so it doesn't show that much we don't want lines showing a lot see how it looks makes it look thinner now on this side as well I'm going to blend it in you can start seeing that shape of the face where it looks thinner okay now with the highlight the light makeup the lighter the lighter one that you use to outline those lines I'm gonna take some with my finger and I'm gonna apply some on my lips because as you age you start losing pigmentation color your natural pigmentation so I've got some of that to kind of make my lips a lot lighter and, and if you lose the lines you can always go back and redo them that way you can have those lines in there showing a little bit of aging around the lips I'm going to use the same light makeup on my eyebrows kind of hide those a little bit again as you age you tend to lose your hair facial hair your eyebrows get thinner and at times you lose your eyebrow so make sure that you use some of that makeup to kind of make it seem that your eyebrows are not there anymore especially the ones that have darker eyebrows you want to make sure that you put some of that makeup there so you can hide those eyebrows okay All right, so with the big brush, I'm gonna use more contour, which is the darker, the darker makeup. Oops, sorry. The darker makeup, the contour. And I'm gonna use that to highlight, to outline my face. That way it makes it seem that your face is getting thinner. So I'm gonna use that to highlight my face around the perimeter of the face okay. 
But make sure you blend. Make sure you blend that makeup. Don't make it that noticeable. Blend it a little bit more. You don't want lines showing on stage under those lights. All right, and the, the wipes, I always use those to kind of, again, clean, keep yourself clean, your area clean, uh, the tool that you're using. I'm going to kind of clean this big brush. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some translucent powder to set that makeup. So again, you're using the translucent powder to set the makeup. So what I'll do is kind of, again, use that to set your makeup. One thing I just noticed that I forgot is I wanted to book, put some sagging on my eyelids. So I'm going to use the brown pencil. To kind of make a diagonal line. On the eyelid. And you'll see kind of a sag in there. So again, on the other eyelid as well. And we're going to, again, use your finger to kind of blend that in there. Translucent powder to set the makeup. And I'm going to use a little bit of the contour with the medium brush to kind of put a little bit more of a darker sagging bag underneath our eyes. If you lose those lines, once again, you can use your pencil to go back in there and pronounce those lines. Don't forget to use your lighter makeup to highlight those lines and blend. Lastly, after you use your translucent powder to set your makeup, we are going to use some white makeup just a little bit. I'm going to use my finger to put some white on my chin, on my beard. To make it seem that we have gray hair. I'm going to use that as the same on my on my hair. Again, to give that illusion that we have gray hair. You see all these lines in there? I look weathered, don't I? <laughs> I look weathered. I look old. So again, it's, it's simple makeup. 
brown pencil, the lighter makeup to highlight those lines. And then to top it off, to finish your look, costume. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on this plaid shirt. Makes me look older. I'm gonna slouch a little bit. You can also add some, some glasses to your look. And you're ready to go on stage. Might have share with you also my research image. You've got to do some research when you're doing um, makeup. That way you know you have a, a reference point on what you, you like to, to do. So I'm going to show you my research image that I used just for reference. There's uh, Rodrigo Mateo. He's a retired fisherman. And then I'll share also pictures I used for this class. All right, everybody. I hope you had fun, enjoyed the makeup, and maybe we'll do another session. Have a good one.